Hey everyone, what is going on? Today's video, um, I'm going to be cleaning up the interior some more. Um, like I mentioned, I think in the past. Um, so I had to order a couple things and they all finally came in. Um, the first thing was uh, this armrest. I'm not sure if I'm going to need the whole thing, um, but I do need this plastic part. It needs cleaned up. It's actually in pretty good shape. It actually has the coin pieces and everything. It's not all scratched up. The second thing I needed was this piece here. This actually goes uh, under the radio in the little cubby. Um, my car had a CD changer kit, so it didn't have this piece. So when I took that out, there's just kind of a hole there. Um, but let me show you the inside a little bit, what we've been working on. So, dang. so here on the inside, um, like you can see, this is all, it's all missing. You can see like big gaps and wires and stuff in there. That's what that piece is for. Um, something else is, uh, see when I put this, um, fire extinguisher on, it, uh, pushed the plastic out and, uh, so I don't know if I used a screw that was too long or something, so I'll have to take care of that. Um, like I said, this here is uh, all scratched up. doesn't have the coin thing. It's not right. And uh, the only... Oh. And uh, so what I've already been working on is uh, tucking all the wires up out of the way. And... Uh, making sure everything's nice tight out of the way and yeah so use some of these little square sticky clips hold everything up and the last thing we got to do in this video is uh, let's see if I can get it here right here is where the old seat was and what I did is I just kind of there's a hole here and what I did is I just put some foam over it and uh, that's not really the right way. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut a little piece out of aluminum and we're going to make a little plate to go over that. So that's what we're we'll working on today. I'm going to start with putting the uh, cubby in. So I had to take out five screws from around the radio bezel so I can pop it out and get to uh, these screws down here. There's just two, one there and one there. And I can pop off the old uh, plate from the CD changer and uh, pop that in. <laughs> old bracket out that I kind of made work because there should be a CD changer hanging in here and that would hang off the bottom of that. And uh, that's actually kind of, that's got some weight to it. And uh, turn the light on so you can see. Now I have. <clears throat> Now I have the uh, real cubby up in here, so no more super giant holes around the side. Got a little, I can stick my phone in there out of the way. So now I can put that all back together and move on to uh, fixing this guy. I'm not sure if you can see this, but the uh, armrest pad I bought, there's like a divot worn in the top here, so I gotta swap the good plastic with the good top of mine and uh, this hinge is all kind of rusted so I'm going to use my good hinge so <clears throat> all right so there we have the good bottom with the good top and uh, now it's all complete no scratches got the little all the pieces and uh, there's the busted top and the busted bottom and uh, the CD plate. So now what I have to do is uh, we'll have to um, fix this mess and then make the little plates for the two spots where the seat anchored in the back. So coming along nicely. All right, so drilled some new holes. Um, got this thing to sit nice and flush now, and it's sturdy. So fire extinguisher is nice and securely mounted. On to uh, making plates for that. Now, here in the rear of the car, this is where uh, the seat used to go. This one I uh, cut a little plate out of aluminum that was left over from, uh, you know, the center console switch thing. And uh, bent, cut it, bent the corners down, 
riveted in with two rivets. And uh, I'll show you why I'm doing that. There is the uh, ground down there. So I got another little plate here that I'm going to put a drill here and here. Put a few rivets in and uh, block that off. So that way, no more crazy amounts of stupid foam. And uh, we plug those holes. Got our little plate. It's just like a uh, two by four plate. There it is. Got my little fill plates for the seat uh, riveted in there. So the very uh, last thing I have to do is, uh, this is to open the door, you know, for the handle, because there's a little screw for it. But uh, I had pushed it and clipped it down in here like this. So the problem is, is if you uh, pull this like this, how it's on the inside of the car, it'll mess up like the trajectory or whatever up here in the lock and the door won't actually try to stay closed. So, my solution was, uh, I still gotta take that tape off. But my solution was to take one of the plastic clips from working on the other, you know, switch panel and uh, rivet it to the door. Drill a little hole, rivet to the door, it holds it right where it was supposed to be. And uh, eventually I could probably put a little loopy handle thing on here somehow. So there we have it. It's uh, riveted in. It uh, works just fine. And best of all, the door doesn't uh, stick open. <clears throat> but that's basically it. Got uh, everything in the interior I wanted to uh, all kind of fixed up. And uh, so now I just got to actually clean it, which isn't interesting to film. So clean everything down, pull that old tape off um, that was behind the doors holding the uh, plastic insulation up for whatever reason. And uh, vacuum it out, give it a good uh, wipe down, and it'll be ready to go. So I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, like and subscribe till next time.